Well, good morning, Compass Bible Church, and it is Saturday of Passion Week. Uh, And so that means tomorrow is Easter. And uh, if you remember last Easter, uh, when we gathered together as a church, you know, back when we actually used to do that uh, every Sunday, um, we had, we, we constructed basically this big, you know, tomb on the stage with the, with the big stone roll, rolled away from it. And uh, to remind ourselves that, hey, the tomb, the tomb is empty. Jesus Christ is alive, as we were talking about last year. He is our living hope. Well, today I want us to talk about that tomb that he was in. And, and really, it's interesting how our daily Bible reading with from Revival from the Bible is lining up with what we talked about yesterday, reading about the death of Christ on Good Friday. And now on Saturday, we read about the burial of Jesus and the tomb, right? And even something that happened on the Saturday. So if you've got your Bibles and you look at Matthew 27, starting in verse 62, it talks about the Pharisees, how the next day after Jesus was crucified, they went back to Pontius Pilate and they said, hey, this guy said that after three days, he was going to rise again. So they, they, they wanted a guard. They were like, hey, This guy, he said he was going to rise, and those sneaky disciples, they're going to steal that body, and it's going to be a big scandal and a big scam, right? And they pressure Pilate again into doing it, so he has a guard of soldiers, and they seal. it says they sealed the stone. So it was even more than just putting the stone, they sealed the stone, and they set a guard, right? And whenever I read that, man, it just strengthens my confidence in the resurrection of Jesus, that Jesus Christ is alive, that the resurrection really happened, right? That this Jesus called his shot. It wasn't just the Old Testament, like we're going to see tomorrow, sneak preview of our online Easter service. It wasn't just that. There was so much more uh, that Jesus even had talked about it so much that even the Pharisees knew that he was supposed to rise from the dead, and they could not stop him. They could not keep him in the grave. I don't care if they would have, you know, backed up a truck in front of that stone that they had sealed or whatever they had done. Jesus was getting out, right? What an amazing thing that, that, that no stone could stop him. No grave could contain him. Death couldn't stop him. The Pharisees couldn't stop him. Jesus Christ can't be stopped. He won't be stopped. And right now, ultimately, hey, if we can't gather tomorrow, that's not going to stop Jesus. COVID-19, that's not going to stop Jesus Christ. So as the preachers used to say, you know, especially on Good Friday and things like that, but Sunday's coming, right? Sunday's coming. And tomorrow, we'll gather online for an online church service where we will celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead that the grave could not contain him, that Jesus is alive. So I want you to join us tomorrow at 9 a.m. for our online church service broadcasting on YouTube. And you can get there if you just go to compassbible.tv. And then about 15 minutes or so after that wraps up, we're going to gather on Zoom where we can actually see each other's faces, enjoy uh, being able to do that, and have an opportunity for people to share and offer thanksgiving to God. So we want to to do that together. Note those times, probably about 9 and about 10.30. I plan to spend as much of your morning with us as you can tomorrow uh, to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. All right, now one last thing I want to just highlight. We are starting the book of Joshua, and we see with a phrase that's so commonly used there in the beginning, when God tells him, be strong and courageous. And he tells him, you know, as you do that, you need to be careful to do what God says, to meditate on that, that it wouldn't depart from your mouth, but you'll meditate on that truth and you'll do all that's written in it. Be strong and courageous. And if there's ever a reason ultimately to be strong and courageous, it is that Jesus Christ is alive. So let's pay attention to his word. Let's follow him today. And I will see you tomorrow online, even literally tomorrow, I will see you online, Lord willing, through Zoom at about 10.30 after our Easter online service, which will begin at 9 
a.m. So have a great Saturday anticipating that we get to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead tomorrow. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.